All right, another one of the questions we get um, in the technical department for the track drive machine uh, about the motors is the motor is leaking from behind the sprocket and uh, they're seeing the oil leaking out on the ground and they're not for sure why. And um, can you just explain to us how that happens and why? Yeah, they're talking about this area right here. Uh, if the oil is leaking out of here, uh, we can't see the inside of this motor, so we're going to use the whiteboard a little bit. There's oil seals right here that seal the motor oil from the outside. And <clears throat> on that, that's the most common failure point for track drive motors on any brand of machine is you get dirt in here and you get some dirt through the seal into the bearings, the bearings blow up, you're sunk. <clears throat> so that's probably your symptom before you ever called us, before your motor ever went bad, is it was leaking. Now we've sent you a new motor and sometimes it's leaking again. We want to prevent that when you're installing it. We want to prevent that from happening. What happens is this is a little picture of the inside of the motor. You have your drive hoses right here that connect to your drive pump. And what that looks like on the inside is the oil is going in here and it's going through a rotating group that's actually driving the machine. And there's a couple thousand pounds of oil there. So it goes in one, out the other. That's in red. That's your high pressure fluid. The rest of the motor never gets that high pressure fluid. If any, if there is damage to those components, and even if there isn't, there's going to be a little leakage to provide lubrication. That some of that oil leaks into the motor case. So this whole, just picture the motor is a box, and it's got these working components inside it that are sealed. Uh, so you have oil from some leakage. It's there for lubrication of the components that are moving, and all this oil inside here goes out the case drain. It's, in fact, there's valving in here to push some oil into the case to provide cooling and flushing. Uh, so you should have one to two to three, depending on your machine. Typically one and a half to two and a half gallons is, I think, a good one and a quarter to two and a half, somewhere in there, gallons of case drain flow coming out of here. So. And again, I've had people call me and say, hey, my motor's bad. I've had it both, either a used one or a new one. Say, hey, my motor's bad. It's leaking a couple gallons a minute. It's supposed to. It needs that to replace cooled filtered oil into the system. And that oil has to get out in order for clean filtered oil to get in. That's a separate topic, but uh, it's good information. So you got case drain oil coming out of the motor, and it goes through... Uh, case drain filter before it goes back to the tank. And a very con these things are hard to find, and I'd like to show you sometime, but I don't have a machine handy right now to look at. If you don't replace the case drain filter for both motors, they look identical. Maybe somebody's found the motor, the filter for the right motor and feels good because they've replaced it, they replaced the left motor, they don't even know. You have to follow this case drain line to be really safe. This is your case drain hose to the filter, replace that filter because if this filter is plugged, there's no place for this oil to go. This is the weakest link. It will blow your seal. You will get oil leaking out behind your sprocket on a new motor, an old motor, any motor, if the case drain filter is plugged. Uh, this is specific for Bobcat machines. Uh, other machines have different filtering systems. They do not use case drain filters that I'm aware of. 